how did this actually then become a thing that you do yeah. instead of letting it fall through the crack because you got a yeah. TV show or a movie or another album? Yeah, like or when whatever. did it become real? Well, I, I think it became real. Pete was sending me beats because I heard some beats through, through Kareem Riggins and he played me some Pete Rock beats and I was like, man, I need to get in touch with Pete. So Pete was sending me beats. I was over in London at the time and then I was like, Pete, as soon as I get back, this was a year ago. I got back last July, around this time. I said, Pete, let's get together, because I knew I needed to be on the ground. I need For us to do something that was going to be special, I needed to be with Pete. Like, right, we needed to be, right. I needed to come to his crib and, and just, we just bond and vibe as, as yeah. human beings. Yeah. yeah. So I went out to his crib, and he started playing beats, and I was like, man, this dude's music it's timeless. It didn't sound like throwback. It, didn't, it sounded like fresh music, but right. it had that spirit of what, and I was like, man, this is the time because I had just been around seeing how much people appreciate hip hop music, like yeah. because it was the 50th anniversary, so everybody was celebrating. I gotta say, man, yep. I felt really good. I felt really good seeing us celebrate our culture. We celebrated yeah. ourselves. We didn't have to wait for anybody to do it. We celebrated. Right. So Facts. being in that yeah. spirit, Facts. Yeah. being in that spirit and, and, and being around Pete and just watching him with records and him sending me records, it just hit that spot where, where in my soul, in my gut, where I, that I always love about music. And it's only been certain creators that I've been able to work with that do that. And, um, Creator. Creator, oh, you, got that. you got there you that. Go. There you go. Boom. Come here, go boom, dip, dip, dip. Boom, you boom, might break dip. a hip to the sound. That's legit. <laughs> yo, just hey, That's 19 years old right there. <laughs> yeah, and we got yo, we 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 performing in Brooklyn, and Peter's performing like joints, like the yeah. Creator shut him down remix yeah. verses. Cause I love his verses too. That's of another course. thing. Like, thank like, you, bro. No, I'm serious, yo. Like. It, uh, not what was your favorite? What was, of the remix verses? Of the do you remember? Verses. Okay, there's uh -oh. Jump Around. Yeah, shut, uh, shut, shut them down. down. Yeah. Can the I just Run DMC is not really that, a, remix, a remix, but, it, but, but it's still nah, but yeah. it sounds yeah. like a remix verse. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, can I just tell you, Pete? Yeah. You are an underrated ballsy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. <laughs> Chuck D. Did what he did on Shut Him Down. No, I, he I, shifted the planet, and Pete was like, "Hold up, Chuck, let me jump on now." No. <laughs> but you know what? Well, I'll I take did, some shit. I did a version without me rapping, yeah. so they had a choice. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Yeah. And they said, "No, we and want they, the Pete." They picked the one with me. No, let me tell and you the worked. ballsy move. Yeah. Let me tell you the fucking ballsy Pete Rock move. When your verse starts on Down With The King, you put the extra drums in it. <laughs> I did that like, for, yo. me and CL, I did that for his part too a little bit. You know yeah, I mean? but you put that extra little bump in your part. <laughs> when, Tom, when did, so you guys are essentially contemporaries. Yeah. You know, you guys came up at a, basically the exact same time. Yeah. But what are y'all talking about? How yeah. could you, what could you possibly talk, be talking about? Wait, Saif, you don't, <laughs> you don't remember the amount of talking in the back at Mr. C's funeral? People <laughs> yeah. talk through you everything. It does not, it's, it's unstoppable. They had to get yelled at it, at 15 times at a memorial. <laughs> so, but you guys are contemporaries, but I think it would be safe to say that Pete and CL took off before you did as a solo artist. I'm a huge fan of the first Common album, Common if y'all have that first common sense, can I borrow a dollar? Can I borrow a dollar? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, well, everybody dollar. in here is the, the pool, people who the bought bit. it. That's the only <laughs> that's <laughs> the No, bro, that, that, that was my shit. That, yeah, I was about to say, that album was a thing, but yeah, thank you. Reminisce was obviously huge, and Mecca and the Soul Brother was huge. So, uh, Com, what was your first experience hearing Pete Rock as a fan? Like, do you remember your early impressions of this man's music? Yeah, it was it was Mech and the Soul Brother. Um, no, it was the the EP. All, all sold, sold out. out. All sold out. All like, sold out. All sold out was and I and I knew he had did some production for Heavy D. I had seen um seen I had seen him doing production. Uh, don't curse. Like I was like okay, and I think you know I think it was all sold out was my first introduction. But that Mech and the Soul Brother was like. Man, this dude is super That's special. Incredible. These dudes, was six that. songs on there, and then Mecca and the Soul Brother was on the EP, and then the Creator also, right? Yeah. With a bunch of remixes, yeah. And the Good Life, 
Yeah. The good life. Yeah. So, I mean, as a hip hop fan, I ain't go front. I would just buy everything, but you could distinguish who's, who was special. And I think when I really started to hear Mecca and the Soul Brother, I was like, man, this is some special music. And yeah. then that's when Pete just was, everybody wanted a Pete Rock remix. And, and like y'all said, I mean, even a verse, like who, who would turn down a Pete Rock verse? Like I, I, to me, like he wanted the dopest when he get on the beat and ride that beat. Like, it's like, man, you want to hear that verse. I know his verses. <laughs> I, got a, I, got a, I got a theory that producers that are really good they, they verses stand out more than a lot of MCs because they, they just know how to ride the music. They in the beat, yeah. 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 It's just fun. I just be having fun, you know. Pete, I, were you always were you always comfortable as an MC? Like Nah. I, I used to uh, you know, listen to like Rakim, K R S, Big Daddy Kane. Like those three right there were were Man, I used to marvel at them dudes. So you know, I would hear new joints from Marley and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I would hear, like, new Roxanne Shantae stuff, new new Bismarck stuff, Master Ace, Craig G, all that, and get hype. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like this was the, the new shit at that time. And then, you know, the 90s came, and we just kind of, you know, mimicked it a little. Wait, so. wait. So, if you don't count Eric Sermon, right? Because EPMD is a little bit different, right? Right, yeah. Who is the first producer? Was there any producer rapping on records who was known as the, the producer, producer. <laughs> prior to Pete? I don't think there was. Nice. Mm. Wait, nah. what year? By the way, Pete definitely knows the answer. He's like, oh, it was definitely me. Wait, what year? <laughs> what year is the first Pete Rock Tales Move album? 91. Well, the album's 92. The EP is 91. 92. What? The first, the year of the first Pete Rock Tales. Don't Tales Curse was really my first thing I ever oh, rapped yeah, the, on. Don't Curse? Yeah. The first, yeah. yeah. And that's all, and that's all 91. Who Easy Mo B. Easy Mo B. Dr. Like Dre, he, Dr. Dre is a fair, Dr. is a fair. Dre, yeah, Dr. Dre is yeah, a you can say Dre. Didn't Kane make print. some of the beats? Who? Big Daddy Kane made some of his beats. Like he I made think Warm so. It Up yeah. Kane. Or had but he the wasn't ideas, a the records. But Large Pro is before? No, Large Pro doesn't predate the, Pete Rock and CL. Yeah. The, 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 no, Breaking no, Adams no, is 91 also. No, Large Professor was before Right before. CL. Yeah, right before us. Yeah, 91 also, or 90, late yeah, 90. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so either way, like, this is still, like, that was a new thing at that yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, Who went on, who else are your, is there any other rapping producer that you have in, like, a super high? Diamond D. Diamond D. Diamond D. Um, Q-Tip. 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 Q -tip. Finesse. Who you got, Jay Dilla. I was going to say Jay Dilla. Jay Dilla. Jay Dilla. Um, who else that's, that, that be rapping producer-wise? You said oh, Redman? Mad Lib? Mad Lib, yeah, Mad, Mad Lib. Lib Mad Lib, Mad Lib, Mad uh, Lib. Who else? Kanye West. RZA, RZA. Kanye, Kanye. Kanye West. Wait, did No ID used to rap? Yeah, No ID no can rap. No ID used to rap? He can rap. Alchemist. Shout out to the Alchemist. Yeah, Alchemist. still rapping. Alchemist was a kid making beats yeah. and rapping. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be spit. Oh, but, but, P, who, who would you put as your, if you had to pick four producer rhymers that you would say was your top? Like it, four, Alchemist, Diamond D, RZA, RZA, yeah. RZA. and Havoc. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Havoc. Okay. Havoc. Havoc. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not Q-Tip. Yeah, but you said four. Yeah. Yeah, and and Q-Tip's also like, but he's produced. he's a producer. Yeah. But you people think of Q-Tip as a rapper first, yeah. before, whether they should Trap or not. Quest. Yeah. 